Hello everyone, today we are going to do chapter number 1, rational and irrational number, practice set number 1.4 we are going to complete today. So in today's video, we are going to learn how to represent an irrational number on a number line. So let's start with the first example. The number root 2 is shown on a number line. Steps are given to show root 3 on a number line using root 2. Fill in the boxes. So the first question is in the form of fill in the blanks. Everything has been given. We have to just fill in the blanks. Okay. So over here first we will see how to draw a number line. Then we will fill in the blanks. Okay children. So first what we have to do is draw a line which will represent any. Suppose we will take this line as L. Okay. And you all have to draw a number line in such a way that the distance between two numbers should be two units. Okay. So, suppose 6. Then two units back I will go over here and this. Okay. So, two two unit difference I have taken between two numbers. So, this is my minus 1, 0, 1 and 2. Got it? So why we have taken the distance of 2 units? Because it is already given in the question. You all have to take the distance as 2, 2 units between 2 numbers. Okay. Now we have to represent this is a sorry not over here. This is supposed to be a point Q. Okay. We will take this point as Q which is already been given in the question. Okay, not this. This is been represented as root 2 in the question itself. In the textbook you all can check it over there. So the point Q on the number line shows the number root 2. Okay, so this till here it is been given in the textbook. We have to read it. Okay, so root 2 point Q is supposed to be the point that we have to use to find the other number which is root 3. Okay, so how are you going to find it? First, we will draw a perpendicular to the point Q. Perpendicular to the point Q means you all have to use a protector. Place the point of your protector in for, in, on the point Q. Mark your 90 degree. Okay. In this way. Then. Draw a ray. Alright. Now this is a perpendicular. Which has been drawn. Which is 90 degree. That means it is. 90 degree. Okay. Now what you all have to do is. You all have to take a distance of 1 unit. Now why 1 unit you all have to take children. Because we have to show. We have to draw a triangle. We have to draw a right angle triangle. O R Q. Okay. Now when we read this. Then you will understand why we had to take 1 unit. Okay. So 1 unit means. 1 centimeter distance. We have already taken it over here. So take this distance. Place your point over here. Mark your arc. Okay. So once you have marked your arc, you will get a point. Join this point with point O. Okay. So this is a point O. O, Q and we have got a R as well. Got it children? So we have got a right angle triangle ORQ. Got it? So now the last step is we have to find using Pythagoras theorem. Okay. So what we have done? We have taken OQ that is 2 units root 2. Okay. QR that is this distance was 1 centimeter. Okay. So by using Pythagoras theorem place these values okay so this will be 2 plus 1 which is supposed to be 3 therefore length of o r square is 3 therefore length of o r is supposed to be root 3 because this root is going to shift from its place and become root 3 okay so the next point that we have to do is we have to take the distance of O and R in this way. Okay. 
and then draw an arc passing through point R. Got it children? In this way we have taken this distance. Now three different distances we have taken to draw this. So remember practice it you will get it. Now the point that we have got over here is supposed to be point C and what will be the point C? This is supposed to be point C which is root 3. Got it children? Forget about this too. We didn't need that too. Okay? Is it clear? So in this way you all have to draw a number line. Let's draw one more number line so that it will be more clear. Show the number root 5 on the number line. So same steps we have to repeat. We will take line L. Okay. So this is going to be our line L. Again we will take a distance of 2 2 units between two numbers. Okay. I will start from here. We just need 1 2. So 0 minus 1 0 1 and 2 I will mark over here. Okay. So minus 1 0 1 and 2. Distance that I have taken is 2 2 units. Distance is 2 2 numbers. Okay. Now what we have to take we have to write over here O P is 2 units. Isn't it? So we have to mark this line as L. Okay. And O and P that means this is going to be our O. Okay. And P is going to be our 2. That we have written distance is 2 units. Got it children? Now what we have to do is we have to draw a perpendicular using 2. Okay again 90 degree angle. Draw an arc. So take the distance of 1 unit in this way. Alright. But why we have taken 1 unit? Because we have to mark it in this pattern. Okay. So this is going to be a 1 unit. So when you get a point over here. Draw. And let's make this as Q. So you have got your triangle, right angle triangle which is supposed to be OPQ. Okay, now after this step what you all have to do is right angle triangle. Okay, so therefore by using Pythagoras theorem OPQ. OPQ is a right angle triangle therefore by Pythagoras theorem or PT theorem length of length of OQ square is equal to length of OP square plus length of PQ square Okay, so mark the distance. OP how much we have taken? 2 units. So 2 square PQ is how much? 1 unit. So 1. So this is going to be 4 plus 1's root is going to be 1 which is supposed to be 5. Therefore length of OQ square is supposed to be 5. Therefore length of OQ is root 5. Okay, so we have to mark root 5. How are you going to mark root 5 now? See, for this you will have to use this distance. Okay, and draw an arc. Got it children? So this point is supposed to be our R root 5. Is it clear? Let's solve the next question. So again we have to draw a number line which has to show root 2. So same steps children follow the same steps that is 
first draw a line L L I will start from here that is 0 take 2 units ok 2 units distance you all have to take so 1 2 3 4 markings I have done but we don't need to use that much we only need 1 and 2 ok so let's keep it as it is we don't need the other remaining points we just need 1 and 2 so from 2 we have to start drawing our uh, right angles so that we can get our root 7 so the same step draw 90 degree angle on 2 practice this it is very easy children don't worry it is not going to go wrong in any way if you all are going to practice this is 90 degree take a distance of 1 unit ok so 1 unit we are having keep it over here now do the small markings because we have to find 2 to 3 angles so do the small markings we have got a right angle ok we will mark it as O or Q we will mark it and this as P ok now we will take this distance ok so I have taken this distance draw an arc Okay, so this point is supposed to be root 5. Got it? This point. From this point, again we will draw a 90 degree angle. Okay, so a 90 degree angle in this way. Same steps you all have to repeat now. One unit distance. We have got our point. Join it in this way. Okay. Now you all have to draw an arc using this and this point. Okay, so that you will get the radius. Okay, this point we have taken using O as our center. Alright, so we have got the next point over here which is supposed to be, I will write it over here and children down because it is getting mixed up. So this point is supposed to be root 6. This was root 5. This is root 6. Using root 6 we will have to again draw one more to show root 7. Okay. Isn't it? We have to show root 7 in the question. So for that again same step. Repeat same step, steps. Draw 90 degree angle. Let's do it fast now. Draw an angle. That is 90 degree. We will not make khichdi over here now. Take one unit distance. Mark it over here. Small markings you all have to make. You have got your point. Join it. So if, if it would have been root 8, you would have to take one more. So take this distance draw an arc ok so this point that you have got is root 7 that is what we need isn't it so let's name it naming is you all can do it in a small way also this is R ok let's take this as T got it children so we have been able to 
mark root 7 in such a way if there is any problem while solving this exercise children please let me know in the comment section this is not difficult practice it it's very easy to solve see you in the next video till then take care bye